I didn't even like getting up and going to work anymore, and I owned the company. So it was like, I can change the whole game. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Save, borrow, and invest with farmers. Take heart knowing you're helping create a strong community. Mind your money at Farmers. Talk directly to local decision makers about your loans, investments, and insurance. Farmers, fiercely local, fiercely loyal. Help our listeners and viewers know what was the genesis of the system you created and then what went into this uh, passion of yours to put this out so other people could benefit from what you learned about creating that industrial athlete concept. So mindset cannot easily mind shift to new mindsets. In 2008, when the Great Recession hit our country, you know, and GM and Chrysler and them were going bankrupt, we went from 220 people to only three in production. I was searching for divine intervention to, you know, to be able to pull ourselves out of that. And, and, and that came to me, but it came to me at, with a price of learning that, you know, traditionally, if you have, you know, a, a system like in the 1920s, you know, of employees and bosses and supervisors and, and, and managers, that it might be that as we talk about all the different generations, that it was, you know, I was concerned, you know, that, you know, we could lose our home and lose our business. And, and uh, I was reminded divinely that I had, you know, a couple hundred people that were going to lose their jobs. And it, it changed that set mind to a mind shift to a new mindset of the fact that these aren't employees. You know, it's, it's like when I walk in the door, yeah, we worked for Cummins and Caterpillar and all these other companies, but I wasn't working for the right, I wasn't serving the right person. Mm -hmm. and, and that gave me the inspiration to say how many different ways, the business could be gone anyway because of the times that we were in. I, I didn't even like getting up and going to work anymore and I owned the company. So yeah. it was like, I can change the whole game. Right. So I said, you know, you know, we, we look first, we look for, you know, you're supposed to look for safety, quality, and, you know, and, and performance. So I decided to change it to a, a six hour period. At the time, my sons were doing ice hockey and, and I would get to the game at the last minute working on, you know, trying to figure out, you know, you know through um, accounting and, and whatever I was going to use to turn the company around. Uh, and I started looking and I go, wow, they're not getting paid, they're not working, they're performing. And, and just like we all have different things that we're good at and you're good at sport, I started to see that, you know, if you have the Super Bowl and you followed all those people home with the passion that some of them even paint themselves, mm -hmm. if you followed all 50,000 of them home, would they be that passionate at work? And that's when I realized that I don't want a workplace anymore. I want a place of performance. And, and that's when it came to me, the fact that people that have a job don't like to get up, can't wait to go home, can't wait to retire. I said, interest, purpose, passion, engagement. I said, how can we accomplish all that? So somebody prior to Tim had came in, I said, I know we need to work on the culture, mine first, you know, I need to be a coach and I don't want to be a coach that coaches to win. I want to be a coach that coaches the DNA, the winner inside of the person. And, and I, I had no idea what I was working on. So as I met people like you, and met people like Tim, I started to realize that we need to translate that over in, and we have all, we have insurance industry, we have the medical industry, we have manufacturing industry is like, I said, if my sons can perform like that and they're not getting paid, then how do we switch everybody else over to be high performers? And I said, we've got to get rid of this pay rate jail. We've got to take algorithmically and, and with all the technology we have, and, and you read in the book about visual earnings, is people weren't ever created to be in, enslaved or exploited, but to be empowered. And you empower them through coaching and technology. And that's where that, that's where a lot of that was born. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Save, borrow, and invest with farmers. Take heart knowing you're helping create a strong community. Mind your money at Farmers. 
talk directly to local decision makers about your loans, investments, and insurance. Farmers, fiercely local, fiercely loyal.